There is a new economy in Africa today. It's young. It's black. It's mostly a she. It's me. Welcome back to SME Funding. Here we are talking about making the intangible tangible, which at the best of, of times is impossible. I immediately started a social engagement platform with a few colleagues and friends. And at the time we had a very clear understanding that there were so many young South Africans just like ourselves with big dreams, big plans and goals, but did not necessarily have the type of access to information, to networks and even resources to enable those things. So we started thinking about how do we not only extend ourselves, what we know and what we have in our spaces, but how do we then make that something that's possible for other young people? And at that particular time when we started Ignite SA, we really wanted to focus in the space of education and helping young people develop skills that are relevant to making sure that they are employable and that they are active citizens both in the economy but also in the communities that they come from. Ignite SA, very simply, is a platform that curates um, information, content, as well as data in the spaces of education, of skills development, and then of course entrepreneurial development. So we're really responding to how do we help young people in the education space but in the skills development space. Fast forward eight years on, the same say 16, 17 year old young person we interacted with then is now 24, 25 years old and is not necessarily employed but is also very much because of various factors around them being pushed to become a job creator. And a job creator without skills to do that um, is a job creator who cannot then create a sustainable business and cannot operate at an optimal level in a very, very fast moving and evolving market and economy. So the journey within the context of Ignite SA for us has not just about making an impact in the communities, but also how do we pass on the skill of making an impact to the young people who come into our programs and make them active citizens through the choices that they make, through the careers that they go on to choose, through the educational paths um, and alternatives they go on to seek, but also how to convert this minefield of information that we have into knowledge that is extendable into all of these different areas of impact because they understand how they got themselves there. Not through us, we just ignited the idea that they could, but the idea that they got themselves there and they self-started means that they will go on to be a beacon of hope and also a beacon of initiative in their own family and then later on in their own community about how the possibility of getting started through the right choices, through education, through taking yourself seriously as a citizen and as a big part of making sure that the country runs and um, being part of the country's story, really. When I see some of the young people who've come through the Eagle Sasa program, for instance, that we play a part with Brand South Africa and the Bukumusa program that also falls within that, who then come back now as mentors and who are either university students or have just started work. When they come to us, most of them don't even know they have a voice and they can stand in front of people and project that voice and do presentations and formulate projects and their ideas. For me, what always gives me the greatest sense of satisfaction as well as contentment that the messaging works is when um, a young person who was a delinquent, for instance, in their school days, but up, up until the point in time they came to your program, um, suddenly saw themselves differently, suddenly saw themselves as somebody who had a talent, somebody who had potential, somebody who could lead others. And so when you see them moving into that next step of their life and you can see them beginning to start planning about how they're not only going to provide for themselves but also for their families, that for me is, is an important step. Young people are surrounded by circumstances and conditions that are not by their own doing. But those circumstances and conditions don't necessarily have to define their future. And the only way you can overcome those obstacles, those challenges and those circumstances that should box you um, into hopelessness and despondency is to have confidence that there is more for you outside of those circumstances. I think the most important message I have for young people is cultivate confidence in yourself. 
cultivate confidence in your talents, cultivate confidence in your ideas, cultivate confidence in the picture of where you see yourself going into the future. I certainly hope that more and more, especially as young people come out of university today and realize that there are just not enough jobs to absorb them all. Um, you know, we're three months away again from another output of matriculants and they add again to the burden of young unemployed people. So more and more we need to start saying to young people, Take your education, make something meaningful of it, but most importantly, look for a way for yourself to become a job creator and not necessarily a job seeker. There are so many resources, so many platforms, so many amazing people who are willing to help them, who are willing to open doors and are willing to help young people build. But at the best of times, just getting a young person to say, hey, this is my dream, hey, I need help hey, this is the questions that I'd like to ask about doing something specific, is often the first stumbling block. And then with that, it's about just creating clarity um, around the vision itself. And creating clarity is about focus, it's about discipline, it's about commitment. Um, you know, you start with an idea today and commitment means that along the way, you're going to have to be quite persistent, you're going to have to persevere no matter what happens. You're going to also have to look at alternatives when things don't necessarily go your way and not give up you know, when new challenges come to, um, into your way. So for me, it's also about saying to young people, start where you are, start with whatever little you have. Sometimes we start with nothing, just but just the commitment that an idea is ready to be born. And you've got to stick with that um, and work with that until the, that small piece of an idea, that small journey, and those small incremental steps become something of significance. Because nothing starts significant, everything starts small. So we've got to believe that those small little impacts every day, consistently measured, consistently followed through, will become massive milestones into the future. What you want in a mentor is someone who truly cares for you and who will look after your interests and not their own. When you do come across the right person to mentor you, start by showing them that the time they spend with you is worthwhile. Share your efforts with us on our Facebook page or on Twitter at Play Your Part SA. I am Gabelo Mabalani and I challenge you to play your part.